Hello, all my relatives. It's really good that you've arrived here at our land, the Shtetlim land. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the salmon and the importance that the salmon has in our territory. The salmon was the survival food of our nation and in lots of ways it still is. It's one of the few things that keeps many of our people connected to the river, to our watershed, and it keeps us alive. Lots of us still survive on our dried salmon, our canned salmon, smoked salmon, and freezing salmon. Without that, many of our people would be below poverty level. It's very important to our people and our culture in Tlachmanfgetla, our way of life. In our territory, we are concerned with the conservation and the return of the runs. We do abide by conservation issues for upriver because we understand the importance that the salmon has for tribes up along the Fraser River as well. We even get concerned for our own survival with the salmon when it comes to fishing downriver from us because when the fish seem to be over caught lower river. We seem to have a small return for ourselves. And over the last, this year included, last year and the year before, the salmon seem to be coming later in the season. And we don't really know why, but we've, this year we didn't even start fishing until the end of July. July 30th is when the rivers was open for our people and that's late when it comes to us and our, our the importance of the salmon for our people the bridge river band the rapids that place is called hit and it comes from the word hit means to be blocked and the salmon there's a ridge of rapids there that's really strong and the salmon come to a spot where they're blocked and then they have a hard time jumping over and at that spot, on the side that the rafters got off, it's called in Hoisten, and that's Bridge River. In English, they, people call them the Bridge River Band, but they call themselves in Hoisten. And that band plays a really important part when it comes to us and our food fishing for the Stletlium, not just for in Hoisten, because in Hoisten opened the fishing grounds to the rest of the Stletlium and were able to fish there using permits and abiding by their rules. And if some of the Shtletlim were not allowed to fish at Enhoishten, we'd have nowhere else to fish. I belong now to the band that's Seton Lake. In, in our language, most of us call it Chilatmuch, the people of the lake. And Long ago, we fished along the Seton Lake, but now there's a spawning canal and um, there's a bit of a dam there. So we no longer can fish along the Seton Lake and the lakefront is used up by other things as well due to impact of newcomers. And so that band needed a place to fish for the sockeye and Bridge River welcomed their arms to the band and then the Lilwat people from Mount Curry area, they needed a place to fish for sockeye as well. And Nkwaishten opened their arms to them, and then they made a rule that as long as you're Stletlim, you can buy a permit and fish there. And for all of us, that's a really big thank you. We say, Kukshtamutkatlap. We thank all of them, Feistenmuch, because without them, many of us would not be getting our quota of salmon for food fishing.